Hey everybody, welcome back to COVID Connect. Today is the third video in our series on American Saints, and we're going to take a look at Servant of God, Mother Mary Alfonza, who's probably better known as Rose Hawthorne. Rose Hawthorne was born in Massachusetts in 1851 to a Protestant family. Her dad was actually the famous American novelist, Nathaniel Hawthorne, who wrote classic books like The Scarlet Letter. Because her dad was so famous, Rose actually had a pretty privileged childhood. She spent time in both the US and in Europe, and she lived in the same neighborhood as some of the most famous writers of the day. When Rose was 20, she married a man named George Lathrop, who was from another prominent family. They had one son, but he died at the age of five of diphtheria, and the grief affected George so much that he turned to alcohol. George and Rose both converted to Catholicism in 1891, about 10 years after their son's death. But George continued to grow more unstable. So Rose separated from him in 1895, and he died just a few years later. After that, Rose decided to spend the rest of her life caring for the poor. She was especially affected by the plight of cancer patients. Understand that in the 1800s, people didn't know much about cancer, and they were really afraid of it. In fact, most hospitals would kick out cancer patients because they didn't want to waste resources on an incurable disease. So unless you were really rich, if you were a cancer patient, you would probably die alone, abandoned, and mostly untreated in a state-run sanatorium. But Rose saw how horrible and how tragic the situation is. So she started tirelessly raising money and support for an organization that would be devoted specifically to caring for those with incurable cancer. She would literally rent out rooms and apartments for cancer patients to live in for free. She and her coworkers would live with the cancer patients and cook for them, clean for them, care for them, and spend the rest of the days begging for more money to keep the organization growing. Eventually, in 1900, Rose's organization grew into an order of Dominican nuns called the Dominican Sisters of Hawthorne, and Rose became their superior and changed her name to Mother Mary Alfonza. This order grew and became known throughout the country, and Mother Mary spent the rest of her life not just taking care of cancer patients, but literally living alongside them as their servant. Mother Mary died in 1926, but her order still exists today, working hard to make sure that the poorest and the sickest among us know that even in the middle of their suffering, their lives still have value and dignity.